So one finalist for the Republic Bank Caribbean Premier League has been decided. Trinbago Knight Riders had a direct pass to their fifth appearance in the CPL showpiece after defeating Guyana Amazon Warriors in Qualifier 1 on Wednesday at the National Stadium in Providence, Guyana. The Amazon Warriors were restricted to 166 for 7 off their 20 overs with Pakistani Saim Ayub falling one short of a fourth half century this season. For the 21-year-old left-hander, top scoring with 49 of 39 deliveries. Terence Hines and Wakar Salim Keel were the standout bowlers for the Knight Riders, taking two wickets each. Player of the match, Chadwick Walton, then blasted his first CPL half-century in four years, scoring an unbeaten 80 from 57 deliveries to lead TKR to victory at 167 for three, winning with 11 balls to spear. And I would like to suggest that Ricardo Chambers has to take some credit for resurrecting Chadwick Walton because it was only last week in our discussions about some of the finest moments of the CPL. You recall, Chapo, um, <laughs> his signature dismissal of uh, some deliveries from, from Keswick Williams. Yes. And um, he responded by hitting a magnificent and polished half century. Well, his 80 not out was it had four sixes and or six fours and four sixes. He was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, there were two straight drives, yeah. Lance and Mariah, mm -hmm. that I would just watch over and over again. Yeah. Brilliant shots coming from Chadwick Walton. Now, Chadwick Walton is a CPL veteran. He's all of 38 years old. Um, coming into this match, as you heard, he had not scored a CPL half century in four years. So it's been a really tough time for him. Just talking about this season alone, he has struggled before last night's match, just 32 runs in four innings. So you could almost say that that last night's innings came out of nowhere but it was a high quality innings and it set up the Trinbago Knight Riders for that win and Lance and Mariah I said it yesterday the thing about the Trinbago Knight Riders for me I don't look at the statistics when I think about them and it's part of why I picked them to win um, so early in the tournament because I just feel that because they have the match winners and there are so many potential match winners that on any given day somebody will come to the party and last night it was probably the most unlikely of of match winners yeah, yeah. and i really uh, enjoyed chadwick walton's innings um he was also assisted by nicholas puran who got 53 then the skipper came in 33 Karen. 33 33 yes yeah, sorry 33 <laughs> then the skipper came in karen pollard and he also hit some quick ones so i think you know all the things that we've been saying about this tkr team the all-round effort that we've seen from them i think you know they're also a force to be reckoned with because we said that Ghana Amazon Warriors were clicking at the right time. We said the same thing for the Jamaica Talawas, but I feel like that win against the Ghana Amazon Warriors was one that TKR really wanted to get. They're into the final now and we just have to wait and see which team accompanies them. I just want to pick Lance's brain here because on yesterday's show, Lance, you said that you expect TKR to beat the Ghana Amazon Warriors in Qualifier 1. Yes. You expect Ghana Amazon Warriors to beat the Jamaica Talawas in Qualifier 2. Yes. And if memory serves me right, you went as far as to say that you think the Amazon Warriors could win on Sunday? Was, was, was that what you said? Well, I'm still taking said? TKR, but I think, oh, I think the Amazon Warriors are going to be harder to beat now than they had ever been before. But TKR is still my pick. But if, if so, if, your pick to win it is TKR. Yeah, yeah. TKR has always been my team. Yeah. Okay. So but it was, I just, it I was Nikhil then. It's really Nikhil's brain who I need to pick because it was Nikhil who said that TKR would win qualifier one, but yes. Ghana Amazon Warriors would Nikhil. go on to win the title on on oh, Sunday in the rematch. In the yeah. rematch. Yeah. I think it's Nikhil, Nikhil said that for real. That. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. Nikhil said that for real. Yeah. But the other thing about the the TKR performance last night is um, I was talking to Mariah earlier on because I'm pretty impressed with Terence Hines. Yes. You know, I was following his domestic game for several years. He had played for Musai and then uh, Queen's Park. And um, he's a talented cricketer. He had a, a first-class 100 back in 2020 um, for the Trinbago or the Trinidad Tobago Red Force, as yes. they are in, in first-class cricket. And I just think he's a natural cricketer. I like Terence Hines. I think he's a match winner. And uh, you made the point earlier, Ricardo, that... Um, Trinbago Knight Riders has a way of having match winners and players just coming to the fore 
um, to deliver results for them. Because as you correctly pointed out, um, Chadwick Walton would be their least expected hero from last night's game. But he played with a lot of maturity and was outscoring Puran, I think, when they were both at the crease together. And you don't outscore Puran at the crease very easily. And we just have to remember Sunil Narayan, um, the mystery spinner that we like to call him. He didn't play last night. He was out of the TKR setup. So just imagine when TKR have their full strength team at, at their disposal. So, so, so Chadwick Walton doesn't play the final? <laughs> Now with this uh, 80, of course he the plays selectors the have a what, lot. What happened to Gupta last night? <laughs> Was he dropped? <laughs> hmm. uh, th listen, that's a, that's a good question, Lance, but you don't score 80 in a know, player I, of the I, match yeah. performance yes, yes. and then not play the next I agree, game. I agree with you well, 100%. Unless you are Robert Samuels. <laughs> <laughs> and that was 132, was it? You mean his last test game? His first and last test. Yeah. But that's the thing about the TKR squad. Because mm -hmm. it's such a strong squad, mm -hmm. I will not be surprised if he's dropped for the next game. No, he, that they won't no. do that. I, no. I get it. I get what he, you're saying. but He's going to play. And once again, it is experience in the TKR setup. Because as I said, Chandler Qualton is a veteran of the CPL. He's played for the Talawas. He's played for the Ghana Amazon, Amazon Warriors. Warriors. And now he's at Trinbago Knight Riders. I must be honest, I didn't even realize he was at the Trinbago Knight Riders. He's 38 years old. And he was striking the ball like a 25-year-old last night. Really, really good batting, Chadwick. And I want to see those straight sixes again. Yeah, he was, he, he was, he was brilliant for real. Good thing Keswick isn't around. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what happens in the Talawas Amazon Warriors game on Friday night? Mariah, what happens? What happens? Talawas, my thing. Dave. Talawas? Mm. I, I tried to think like a Jamaican. Tell us for me. Why? Why don't you think like Mariah? Mm? <laughs> no, I think the problem I, here, I think the problem here is that Karishma Ramrak isn't playing for the Ghana Amazon Warriors. So she doesn't pick the Ghana Amazon Warriors. No, it's nothing to do with that. Like when I analyze... But it's the reason why you pick them in the women's CPL. Okay, because that involves blood relations. And I will support <laughs> Karishma wherever she goes. But as an analyst, when my analyst hat is on and I'm looking at the teams, team for team, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm going with the Talawas. Okay, I think they have a bit of fire and they're on a certain uh, momentum that yeah. we can't stop them. Mm. Yeah. All it, right. it, it's a solid pick. <laughs> All right, I will, time will tell. We, we go to break. So you say Guyana? Guyana, yes. All right. Game on. Break time. <laughs> Every man, every beat, every man, every beat, 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 every